Hello everyone, greetings from TCC. In this video, we'll see how to perform practical number five, that is creating mailing labels using Label Wizard in Microsoft Office Word. So, basically, we all are aware over the medicines, whether it is a packet or a bottle, we stick the labels in such manner. Okay, so we need labels in quantities. Okay, to mention everything about it. Okay, whenever like we are prescribing a medicine to a particular patient, so we mention we try to customize the name of the patient. Okay, something like this, mentioning the pharmacy name, mentioning the date, mentioning some reference number, and etc. 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 And now, if suppose if we want to create our own labels, customized label, we can do that through Microsoft Office Word. Some labels you will see which are very advanced in design. But in Microsoft Office Word, that's not possible. For that, we are supposed to use some other softwares like Adobe Photoshop and Corel Draw. But in this practical, we just have to see that how we can design the labels and even print the labels using Label Wizard in Microsoft Office Word. So let's begin. So go to Windows, start typing Word. Okay. Let's open the Microsoft Office Word. Go to blank document. So now here, go to mailing section here in the top and here you will see the label option, create labels, click on it. So the label wizard will get open. Okay. Here you can design the, your own label. So let's say, let me design something like national pharmacy and some address hyphen, then some pin code, something like that. And then enter uh, then this medicine belongs to some patient name will come here you can write it down later on this labels can be also get printed on the sticker sheet so you can pull out the sticker and then you know stick it on the behind the medicine or on the bottle straight away and even you can mention the name of the medicine something like this amoxicillin 100 mg Okay, take twice a day, some random data. Okay, so just to give us the idea of like how the labels are getting created, we can customize this now. We can cl click on the national pharmacy, select the national pharmacy, right click on it, go to font. You can increase the font. Okay, if it is, it should appear bigger. You can make it bold italic. You can even change the color like this and say, okay, it will get reflected here like this and even you can make the font smaller or you, even you can change the type of the font say times new roman okay italic and the size is nine and then okay if you, if you want to change the color you can change it from here there are many other options related to the font something like this okay now once you are done with the label okay once you're done with the designing the label okay go to options because we have to select the options properly now. You can see here in the label vendors, we have got a huge amount of list basically. So we have to stick to the Microsoft, okay, under label vendors and it will give you the product number, like half of the letter you want to get printed, like size of the label should be half of the letter, something like that. Means height is 21.59 centimeter with is 13.97 centimeter, which is quite big. We are not supposed to go with this option. Okay. We have to go with 30 per page. That's acceptable. But in this case also, you can see the height is more and the width is less. We want the label should get printed in the landscape mode, not in the portrait mode. So select the second option that is 30 per page. Okay. Otherwise you can do the research and development on your own way. Okay. Select any particular option and keep on, you know, creating the new document. You will see what other changes are getting reflected. So let's select this 30 per page and say, okay. And now click on the new, new document. So this is how the labels are getting created 30 per page. You can take the print out and cut it out and start sticking it. And even if you want to do customization, something like this, like it was not hundred MG, it was 500 MG. So you can make the changes here, but it will get only reflected in this single label 
you want to make it reflected in all the labels and select the whole content here go to mailings go to labels and then again click on because you can see now it is 500 mg click on new document so again the new document will, will get created here with the 500 mg okay so this is how the labels are getting created in the microsoft office world okay That's it from this video. Thank you so much. That's all guys from this video. If you really like this video, press like button and do subscribe to our channel. If any queries or suggestions, do comment below. For more such updates, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.